In my YouTube video, episode 3, Berady Concepts and Require Clause, Mr. Uno Dos asked me, what book would you recommend for C++20, or are you going to cover it all in your videos? C++20 is not yet released. The best resource for learning C++20 is reading papers from ISOCPP.org. From this ISOCPP.org, for example, you can refer to compiler conformance status. Then each compiler is listed here. For example, if I want to refer to concept, I search for concept. Then here, Microsoft Visual C++ 19.23, each supports concept. Then I download the concept, this wording paper for C++ extension. I read this paper and try the code. For example, this is primary expression. This is called a syntax parse tree, or recursive descent parse tree. So reading this document, I try the code. This is the way I learned C++ language before it released. Also, in CPP current ISO C++ status, they are implementing coroutine, range, modules, and reflection, etc. By clicking this link, we can check the schedule. C++ internationalization schedule, probably. Then here, year 2020, January at Prague, CD ballot comment resolution. C++ 20 technically finalized. Okay, so this is the final scheduled date for C++ technical finalization. You can read about this schedule. A while ago, I filmed two videos about C++ coroutines in action. If you search this keyword, then you can find two videos. For example, this is a video about C++ coroutines. But C++ coroutines will be implemented in C++ training standards. These are not yet released officially. However, you can visit openstd.org from this website. Select WG21C++. Then from this page, you can click papers, then you can search for coroutine. For example, in year 2019, I search for coroutines, then there is 15 occurrence. This is merge coroutine TS, I search for next. This is core language, I can read these papers. Also, if you cannot find the document from here, then you can go back. For example, year 2017, coroutine here again. Then I found working draft technical specification for coroutine extension. Then I click and download this paper. I read these papers for coroutine. This document usually contains Recursive descent pass tree like this. For example, CO await. Say await expression is composed of keyword CO await, then cast expression. Then I search for cast expression again. Then this is cast expression. So by reading this recursive descent pass tree, and also explanations here, I can figure out how this new C++ language is designed. For example, the range-based for statement will be modified like this. Now, after for, we can put co await new keyword. This is optional. Then this syntax is possible. Also, this syntax is possible. So, by reading this recursive descent fast tree and also trying the sample code in this paper, detailed documentations, we can learn new C++ language feature before the new standard is actually released. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 19th, 2019. 
This is my fourth episode about the C++ standard concept. In this episode, I will talk about how to teach yourself before C++ 20 standards is officially released. Recursive Descent Pass Tree is the blueprint of any programming language. It is simple and elegant. Do not get overwhelmed about recursive descent path syntax. For example, when I design a programming language in this video, I created a simple infix calculator. Before implementing infix calculator, I design recursive descent path tree. Then I translate my recursive descent path tree into working C++ code. So, recursive descent path tree is the blueprint of any programming language. If you understand recursive descent path tree, you can read any document. This is working draft standard for programming language C++, dated 2018, October 8th. I will put this script in the description section below this video. So you can double click and download the document on your local machine. Also, in case of a concept, you can double click this link and also download the document on your machine. If you open working draft, this file is 1550 pages long. You cannot read from page 1 to end of this file. Instead, search for the contents you are interested in. Also, I will open another file. I'll open this file too. And I will arrange them. So, I opened the two PDF file. This is wording paper for C++ extension for concepts. This file is 36 pages long. And this file is 1850 pages long. While reading wording paper for concept, for example, template header, then in this file, you can find template header too. So this bigger file contains all technical specifications explained in this wording paper in this file too. The bottom line is this. Read this wording paper C++ extension for concepts. This is only 36 pages long. While reading this paper, if you encounter some contents that you cannot understand, for example, declarator. Declarator is explained here. If you cannot understand what declarators are in this page, then find the contents that you don't understand from this bigger file. Then reading this paper is more complete. So read the short paper. And if you encounter some contents that you cannot understand, then read this paper. For example, open stdorg C++ paper year 2017 coroutine. This is working draft for C++ extension for coroutine. This paper is just for coroutine only. This is just 34 pages long. If you encounter some contents that you cannot understand, then refer to this paper. This is the way I teach myself new C++ standard before officially released. And understanding this recursive descent path tree is really important. Recursive descent path tree is very simple and elegant. In future episodes, I will explain more about recursive descent path tree one by one. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.